What's up everybody, it's your bro Super Bro Zulfi, and I've been thinking a lot about Pokemon Legend ZA since its announcement. Here's my live reaction, if you haven't watched that, and in that video, I had a very negative initial reaction. But, over the past two to three weeks, thinking about it, watching other people's videos on the game announcement, I feel like there's hope now. And that's why I'm making this video, because I want to go over five reasons why Pokemon Legends ZA will be a good game. All right, let's start. Number one is the release date of the game. The game is set to release around the world in the year 2025. And in my live reaction, my initial thoughts were bad. I was like, this is not good. The game's not even coming out this year. And they didn't even show anything. They just showed the title of the game and a CG trailer. So initially I was really disappointed. But thinking about it, no, this is actually really good because it means Pokemon Company and Game Freak are actually taking their time with this game. And if you know Pokemon, they're known to just pump out games every single year. They don't, you know, hit the brakes that often. So the fact that we're actually going two years without a Pokemon game, because last year, 2023, we just got DLC for Scarlet and Violet. And then we're going to go 2024 as well without a Pokemon game means Pokemon might be learning and are actually going to put some time and effort to crafting a masterpiece of a game. Hopefully that's true. Number two, Mega Evolutions are back. I absolutely love Mega Evolutions and I'm sure I'm not the only one in that boat. I'm sure there's a lot of Pokemon fans that absolutely love Mega Evolutions. I think Mega Evolutions is like the best thing that came out of the Kalos region and I know there's competitive players out there that aren't on our boat because it broke you know vgc the competitive scene but the great thing about this is that pokemon legends za is a spin-off game it's more of a casual game it's focused on just having fun and now we get mega evolutions and we can just enjoy them and we don't have to worry about using them competitively if you're a competitive player i think a lot of people will appreciate them more in this style of game and i think all of us pokemon fans just really like seeing new evolutions for older Pokemon. So I'm really excited about that. And I think that's gonna help Pokemon Company and Game Freak with game sales as well, by playing on our nostalgia, giving some of these old mons that we love new forms. Number three is the fact that this game takes place in just one city. Yes, this has been confirmed that the whole game will take place in Lumino City, which is the city that we saw in the trailer. And it's gonna obviously take place in the past because there was like a development plan that was shown off in the trailer. So we're gonna be playing through the earlier days of Lumino City. And I think this is great because this gives the game more of a focus. The game isn't gonna be as open as Legends Arceus, but I'm not complaining about that because a lot of the areas in Pokemon Legends Arceus were very forgettable. Like it's hard to remember certain areas in that game because there's no like landmarks or whatnot. Uh, the only thing that's really memorable about Legends RCS is Jubilife Village, which is where uh, the game mainly took place. It was the main town of the game. The fact that Lumino City is the only place we're going to be in is great because they get to really put in the work and the effort to flush out the city. And they don't got to waste time, you know, building all this extra area. So I think that's a good thing that Pokemon Company is doing. This more focused game. Reason number four is that the Kalos region is a great region to do a Pokemon Legends style game for. And because the region is rich with lore. I'm not going to speak much on this because I don't have experience. I actually dropped Pokemon X uh, in my initial playthrough. I never finished the game so I don't know much about it. And uh, the Kalos region ranks near the bottom of my list when I rank Pokemon games. That's just my personal opinion. I was actually shocked by the announcement of this game. I was one of those people, like many people, that were rooting for Pokemon Black and White remakes or a Legends game in the Unova region. Um, so this really caught me off guard and now I gotta really brush up my um, history on the Kalos region. And I've been doing that, but I still don't feel like I'm good enough to really talk about it. But apparently there's a character named ZA. He's like a king in the Kalos region and he lives forever. So there's that they can touch upon and they can also touch upon the Pokemon Zygarde and the history connected to that Pokemon. 
Apparently, there was also a war that took place in the past in the Kalos region that I don't know much about, and apparently a lot of Pokemon fans don't know about because there's theories and speculations out there. But the point I'm trying to make is that this game is rich with lore, or can be rich with lore. The region is rich with lore. So now it's up to Pokemon Company and Game Freak to, you know, use that in their game. Reason number five is that this could be the best looking Pokemon game and the smoothest running Pokemon game we have ever gotten. And I think it has to do with them spending a lot of time on the game, but also the failures of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With how buggy and glitched those games were, I'm sure Pokemon Company took notes and they're not gonna make the same mistake again. Even though I heard Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were enjoyable from the gameplay perspective, the glitches and the bugs made the game unplayable for a lot of people. And when I saw that, I chose to skip those games. I haven't even played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because of how glitchy um, and buggy the games were. It felt like Pokemon Company didn't put any effort into the game and they just ran like garbage. And I didn't feel like giving them my money. Uh, I voted with my wallet and chose to skip the game. And I kind of regret it a little bit because I've heard from people that the games are actually quite enjoyable if you can just look past the bugs and the glitches. Um, so I think Pokemon Company is gonna learn from that and they're really going to iron out all the kinks. And the fact that it's also taking place in a city means they can focus more on detailing and just, you know, a smaller engine. They don't need a game that needs to render in huge places, even though I hope the city is a huge space. But I feel like we're still going to get the similar style where we're going to get different zones. And if you look at the map here, there's like five different areas. It's like the lines kind of make like a pizza pie. So I think those are going to be like the areas we explore in the game. But I definitely feel like the games are going to run a lot smoother. And there's also rumors or theories that the game could also come to the next console as well. It is confirmed for Nintendo Switch, but because the game release date is in 2025 and there's also speculations that we'll be getting the next console in March of 2025 there could be a dual release situation happening with this game where we get it on the next platform and we get it on the switch as well and obviously uh, it'll run smoother and look better on the next console than it does on the switch so yeah I'm gonna hold out hope that Pokemon Company is learning from their mistakes they're putting in the time and effort and they're gonna make this the best looking Pokemon game to date. So yeah, those are five reasons why I think you shouldn't lose hope for Pokemon Legends ZA and why there's potential that this game could be good. Also, let me know in the comments, uh, what are you excited for when it comes to this game and what are some things you wanna see Pokemon Company and Game Freak include in this game? I'd love to read your comments. Also, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And make sure you subscribe if you are enjoying the content on the channel. Again, it's been your bro, Super Bro Zulfi. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.